All right, welcome back to my basement. Uh, in the previous video, we got the trans the Reliance transfer switch uh, hooked up, connected. Uh, the Blue Eddy AC300 was not in the picture. It lives about eight feet over that way uh, where it has a wall plug. I've relocated it over here for, for this purpose so we can see everything together. Uh, since that install video was done, um, about a month has passed. I got the panel inspected, uh, the transfer panel. You can see the, my inspection sticker up there. It's passed. Everything's kosher. Um, and again, I've wheeled the AC300 over here. Uh, it is currently connected through the switch uh, to the TT30 plug, to the L1430 up there. Um, I have the Blue Eddy 30 amp accessory cord on it to a 30 amp outlet. It's configured for up to 30 amp uh, input limit. It, 3000 watts is not 30 amps, it's like 23, but it's it's set to as much as it can do. And uh, I've been using it uh, since the transfer switch was installed in this fashion um, per the uh, official Blue Eddy home integration guide uh, PDF document. And it, it has been flaw flawless for me. Uh, it is currently bringing in, well, let me just bring the app up here so we can follow along. Uh, I'm currently bringing in uh, 1,000 watts of, of solar right now. We're at 77% charge. It got down to, I think, 50 or so percent last night. Sun came up, and now we're charging. My house is currently drawing 363 watts. Uh, I have currently switched on this uh, from the transfer switch i have my garage which is a fridge and a freezer i have the kitchen fridge and uh, all of my kitchen outlets and i have my septic aerator on there and i have my furnace switched on there and uh it's the middle of the day you know everything was running it's cycled off so we're 300 watts probably the two fridges are probably running currently, um, but it's been it's been great. Um, we had a few cloudy days, a few rainy days. It got down to the low limit that I set for PV priority. It seamlessly transitioned to grid power. Um, when the sun finally came out, it charged up, came off of grid power, and is sending that out. To, uh, to all my devices. If I scroll down in the app here, we can see exactly how much power this thing has generated since I got it back in October. Uh, 447 kilowatt hours. That is, uh, that's, that's quite a bit of electricity. Uh, let me grab the camera and I'll, I'll run through some exercising of this thing on the app and I'll, I'll pull you up here so we can see the screen at the same time. There we go. So I'm going to remote control on the app and I will put the app up here so you can follow along. Uh, but the screen is showing uh, hopefully the same numbers. And let me just go through what happens with the transitions to and from utility and PV priority and, and all that stuff. So right now, as mentioned, I'm in PV priority. You can see the, the low setting I've set to 30%. And, uh, you know, we're not, we're not drawing from grid power here. We're, we're only pulling from the sun. Uh, let me switch that to a setting that will cause it to go to grid, but not, uh, not charge. So I'll try, I'll set it to 78%. Sometimes that works. Sometimes that doesn't. There we go. So you can see here, oh, something in the house turned on. We have jumped up to 500 watts of output. But you can see here it's it's doing what uh, I believe they typically list in the app. It's, it says bypass. So it says bypass output D. Uh, I think D stands for discharging. 
but it's you can see it's 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 pretty much just taking in grid passing it out to output this is this is what it will do uh when i get to the soc low or the the grid fallback uh battery as i call it so um it'll just lay lay on this at uh, you know an indicated 30 percent if i have the grid priority set to 30 percent it, it'll sit on that until the sun comes out and then when we get solar it'll uh, charge up to 10 percent over that amount and then it will switch back uh, it'll turn off the grid input so if i have it set at 30 percent it will stay on the grid input while charging the battery from solar until it gets to 40 percent and then it will jump off the grid and go uh, straight solar um, but i've faked the numbers here for for this presentation uh, if i increase that uh, soc number you'll see it will start to fully charge off the grid so i'll just i'll set it to say 80 percent and we should see that grid input ramp up to probably maximum or very nearly. Yeah, there we go. So now we're charging at uh, 2,800 watts off the grid, 1,000 watts off the solar, and we're we're passing out to the battery, or passing out to the uh, the output to my to my transfer switch. If I drop that PV priority number back down to 78%, or we'll even just say 70, it should stop charging but still stay on on the grid because it'll it'll stay on grid until it gets 10%. Once it's on grid, it'll stay on grid until the battery gets to 10% above the uh, PV priority setting. So I have it set at 70. It'll stay on battery until it gets to 80%. I'm um, sorry, it'll stay on grid until it gets to 80% and then it will jump off. Um, just to show that, if I set it to just a couple lower, I will set it to 68%. It should jump off. And it did. If I set it to 76%, 77%, heck, let's set it to 78%. That is less than what the current state of charge is, so it will stay on uh, on solar. But if I set it to 79, it should go back to grid. But it's not charging, it's just on grid support. And if I set it to 80, it should start charging from grid because it is below that minimum setting. We must be really close to 80. I'll set it to 81. Yeah, now we're charging. So that's how the whole PV, PV priority works with uh, with inputs and outputs and grid power. And uh, But I have been absolutely tickled pink with the AC300 as home backup here. And it, it has been powering uh, my transfer switch. It has been powering my refrigeration devices. And not only is it saving me money, it's turning uh, you know, 447 kilowatt hours of electricity into cash back in my pocket, of electricity into cash back in my pocket. Um, it, it is a real time UPS for whatever I have uh, switched on the transfer switch. So it, it is currently, as mentioned, running my garage fridge, my kitchen fridge, uh, my furnace, and if if my main power goes out, those those, those devices don't even notice because they're already on battery power. They're on the Blue Eddy. And uh, it's been a beautiful thing. Um, yeah, that's all for this update. Thank you.